Welcome to my finals week. This is my second to last finals week. How crazy is that? Today is Monday, November 29th, and this whole week is my last week of school, and it is going to be crazy busy. I have so much work to get done, but it's also gonna be very productive, so I'm going to be vlogging my entire week. Let me tell you what we've got on the schedule. I've got a huge slide deck, an essay, two quizzes, a discussion post, and an assignment. I'm not sure what I'm doing for it yet, and that is gonna be my week. We are gonna go on this crazy busy journey together and I hope you enjoy the vlog. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I only have one semester left of college videos, which is insane because I've been doing this for the last three and a half years. But very quickly, before I start my work, I'm going to make a little TikTok Instagram reel for Muse Magazine, which is the magazine that I'm a part of at school. And then we'll get started on work. First task of the week is done. I'm going to export this now. If you want to see what that final version looks like, you can go to Muse's Instagram to watch it. And now I'm going to check it off. So moving on, because we're just go, 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 gotta get work done. The next thing that I'm gonna do is work for my slide deck. Basically in this class, the only two assignments that we had were slide decks. I made one last month. It was actually insane. Like I got an A plus on it, thankfully, because I spent no joke a week on it, but I started the second one on Saturday and I'm already like a good portion done. Like I feel really good about it. And this time around we had to like create our own kind of like artistic thing. So I'm creating a TV series and one of the requirements for the assignment is that you like make a survey and you send out the survey to like test users and you do user testing so i made like this google form this is my tv show poster and the mock-up for the landing page on netflix and then after i send that out i'm gonna do research for this slide deck because basically i spent all my time so far making these like prototypes so i made those two things i made six social media posts with captions and i made a sponsorship package and i made a brand board so that's what I did so far and now I have to do the writing part So I have to like do intro conclusion executive summary and I don't have any course concepts to put into my writing Because I don't have any notes on the course concepts for the last ever since the last slide deck basically So I'm going to send out this form link to a bunch of people and then I am going to do research yay <laughs> working non-stop since this morning since the last time i talked to you literally non-stop and it's two o'clock now but i've gotten a lot of work done and i'm feeling good so now i'm gonna eat lunch i made myself some pizza bagels they're just cooling on the pan here yum focus yum It's five o'clock, which is why it's so dark in my room. I have all my fairy lights on, I have my lamp on, and I got a good amount of work done today. Like, I am surprised. I woke up today feeling not so excited about the day because of all the work that I have to do, but I think I'm in a really good position, and so that makes me really happy because this week is going to be very hard. I wanted to do four slides, so I got this one done, that one, and then this was the next one, and the next one. They have a lot of writing on it, which I know is not the prettiest, but I like tried to make it still look fine with like a lot of pictures so i think what i'm gonna do right now is get some like tiny little things over with so i'm gonna add some emojis to my social media captions i'm gonna add some hashtags and then i think i'm going to get a head start on maybe citing some sources then i'm going to make dinner i'm going to eat dinner and then when i come back i want to do my discussion post
it's nine o'clock right now and i've been procrastinating writing my discussion post for the last hour and a half because i just do not want to do it even though i have to and i'm not gonna let myself go to bed until it's done so i'm gonna write it now wish me luck I did it. I wrote my discussion post. It took me like an hour to write and then it took me like an hour to cut down the words because I was at maybe like 550 and the limit's 400. It's ready to submit, but I think I'm just gonna submit tomorrow morning so that I can like read it over when I'm not exhausted. Good night for now and I'll see you tomorrow. It's actually 10 o'clock right now. I decided to start my morning by doing some work in bed and I got like a good amount done. And then I ordered some breakfast from Juniper Cafe. So for today, I got the bacon breakfast sandwich without bacon. And then I have like this little coupon on Uber Eats where you spend $15 and then you get a discount. So I added two cinnamon buns, cinnamon, cinnamon buns. And now I have breakfast today, breakfast tomorrow and breakfast in two days. Welcome to day two. Let's be productive. Like I've been writing this section for like a month now. This has taken me so long. It's almost three o'clock and I just finished writing about like my data analysis, like whatever. I wrote 1400 words. Thank goodness it's done. I'm gonna run it all through Grammarly and then I am going to put it into the slide deck. And then I still have another section that's gonna take so much writing. Like it's so difficult with a project like this because you go from like designing stuff and kind of having fun, like just moving around like elements in a slide deck. And then these sections call for so much writing. I think I'm gonna take like the tiniest break though after I run this through Grammarly because I got some packages and I want to open them, but I didn't let myself open them before because i was like in the zone it's unboxing time first amazon this is not exciting i got more brit filters and then my last hello fresh box of the semester first recipe is a shrimp and cabbage slaw taco thing with chipotle sauce and feta then we have garlicky shrimp alfredo with herby roasted salmon and snap peas i think i'm gonna make this one tonight because like Sounds so good. And the last one is a one pot Southwest beef and cavatappi pasta with Monterey Jack cheese and baby spinach. I won't be having this one here though because I'm only here for four more dinners and each of these have like two portions. So I'm gonna have like the garlicky thing tonight and tomorrow, the tacos Thursday and Friday, Saturday. My dad is coming with my dog because we're driving home on Sunday. So we are going to order in on Saturday night and then Sunday I'm gone. So I'm gonna take this one home and make it at home and yeah, so I'm gonna put these food boxes away in my fridge and get to designing my next slides. Hello. So I ended up accidentally falling asleep for like 45 minutes. So I'm quite behind on my day, but I got the four data testing slides done. I tried my best to make them pretty, but like there's a lot of writing on here. So we've got one slide, second, third, and fourth. So now I'm gonna go make dinner. It's six o'clock. But when I come back from dinner, I'm going to work on these self-reflective prompts. There were 12 prompts like on the assignment instructions that we could choose and we have to do a minimum of three. And I chose eight here that I feel like I could answer, but I'm not gonna answer all eight. So after dinner, I'm gonna go through the eight and narrow it down to probably like six. And then each one is a minimum of 100 words, which means I have to write like 200 words because they're like crazy. They're like the type of professors that are like, this is the minimum. And if you do the minimum, B. And if you go above the minimum, A. Which like, maybe that makes sense. But it's also like, if you're asking us for three prompts and we do three prompts, that should be enough. So that's kind of the plan for the rest of my night. This is like the most restaurant looking meal that I've ever made. Let me try it. That's so good. Took an hour to make, but it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna eat this now with some TV and then I'm gonna have to do all the dishes and then I'll finally be able to get back to working. I 
I just got out of the shower before on the couch I was doing um, some citations and then I decided to shower so that I could be all comfy and like as soon as I'm done working be able to go to bed but right now I'm actually gonna put on a mask this is my first time using this it's the La Neige water sleeping mask and I'm putting it on because my skin has been so dry like my hands too so I wanted to try out this mask how to use oh after face cream and then rinse off in the morning okay now for the mask, kind of got moisturizer in my eye. This feels really good on my skin. Now I'm also going to put on the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I don't really know if it does anything, I just use it as a lip balm. I feel so pampered. This has turned into like a self-care night. All done. Now I'm going to go get those prompts done. Probably not all of them, but at least I'll start and then go to bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning for another productive day of work and my last class. Good night. Happy Wednesday, happy December 1st, happy first day of Christmas. I just finished writing my self-reflective prompts. So I did four, but like it's minimum 100 words and I wrote between 300 and 400 words for each of them. So this is what those two slides look like. I tried to still make them pretty even though they're just blocks of text. And now all I have left is my conclusion and my executive summary up here and then sources and then I'm done. And right now, excited kind of also scary I have to apply for graduation today is the first day to apply for graduation in the spring of 2022 wow four years later here we are almost almost four years later i have like two and a half hours until i need to leave for class and until then i'm gonna be editing a video because i really need to finish this video it's for a brand and i've pushed it off for so long because i just have not had time to edit I cited all of my sources, images, and all of my written sources, and then I put them in alphabetical order, and I annotated them all, which is like you have to write how you used every single source, which took forever, and now I'm back home. It's five o'clock, and I'm going to do my conclusion and executive summary slides, and then I will be done the slide deck except for um, numbering the sources, so I'm gonna have to go through all my sources, put numbers on them, and then put that little number where it appears in the slide deck. I forget what that's called, like when you put numbers on them, footnotes. I don't know. I have some exciting news. I just finished the slide deck. Oh my god. I'm not going to submit tonight because like I need to like read it through and I am not doing that tonight. Like I need to get other stuff done and I'm also like I feel like a little tired of this project so I need to go to something else and then come back to it. This is what I was talking about with the numbers before. So there's numbers next to every single source and then if I go into presentation I put numbers at every photo that corresponds to the source and in my writing. And now the next thing that I want to do are my two discussion post responses because then I'll be done this class like the discussion post and the slide deck are from the same class So I'm gonna get the responses done right now And then I'm gonna get the slide deck done tomorrow morning and then I'll be done this class Then I want to read through 45 pages of notes for my quiz tomorrow And then after I read through the notes I want to do the practice quiz and then I need to continue editing my what's on my iPhone video And I don't think I can finish editing that video tonight So I'm just gonna go and work until like midnight 1 a.m. Like I'm working late and so is my Michaela. So we made a pact that whoever is going to bed first, the other person will go to bed with them so that we're not staying up too, 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 too late, but we're also not quitting early.
I just finished reading slash skimming the 47 pages of notes and I just did his sample quiz. It's only six questions, no, five questions. And the real thing tomorrow is gonna be 35 questions and it's gonna be timed. We have 45 minutes for 35 multiple choice questions. Open book them. And I think I got all these right. I think I am only unsure about the last one. So let's see what my grade is. B score. Oh yay, five out of five. And now it's 10.30, I'm gonna go wash up and then I'm gonna get comfy into bed. I'm gonna put my Beats headphones on, I'm gonna cancel everything out and I'm gonna edit my video until Michaela says it's time to go to bed. It's Thursday, halfway through finals week. Last night, I actually managed to finish editing like the talking portion of my video. And then this morning I woke up and I stayed in bed to put on like the screen recordings of my iPhone, finished that video, sent it off, had breakfast, and then I read through my slide deck. It's on my desktop, ready to be submitted. I just sent it to Michaela for her to like skim over. Like I specifically said, don't read it, just skim it. Just so I can have like the reassurance that a second pair of eyes look at it so I haven't submitted it yet but that's all I've done so far I'm going to do my PR quiz this afternoon sometime right now what I'm gonna do is start on my short essay for my 90s class and then after the quiz after the essay after I submit the slide deck I only have one assignment left and I'm so excited for this to be done thank you for coming along with me we are almost at the end and yeah I'm gonna get started on this essay because I don't think I've ever left an essay like this close to the deadline Whoops. It's 5.30 right now and I sincerely apologize for being such a bad vlogger today. I I just had a lot going on and I also did two quizzes, but we are about to submit some stuff, check some stuff off. I'm going to submit my slide deck now. Oh my god, I've done that class. There we go. Now I'm also going to check off that I did the quiz for my PR class. I've also done the PR class. I'm happy with my grade. I got an 88, which is an A. And last time I got 77, which was a B plus. And then I also did another quiz. I did the quiz for my social media class and there were five quizzes throughout the semester and your lowest grade gets dropped. And I had A pluses for all of them because I like actually took notes for all the other ones. But this one, since my last grade got dropped, I was like, hey, I'm not gonna waste like two hours taking notes because it's like long chapters. So I just tried to do it with like looking up the answers each time instead of like, like looking them up in the textbook instead of my notes. And I ended up with an A. So I mean, that's gonna get dropped. So what Ever, but at least I did it and I'm gonna check it off but right now I'm going to work at my table I'm gonna work on the essay until I go to my friend's house I'm gonna eat dinner while I work on it because I still have leftover of like that pasta with shrimp and salmon we're decorating cookies <laughs> I think yours is so off. pretty. Wait, Mine is, you? um... That's really cute. Thumbs up. Bye-bye. Because <laughs> I wanted to nibble at mine. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, wait. So I might fell off. <laughs> Friday. Technically it's Friday. It is 12.45. I'm really tired, but I got back from cookie decorating and I just needed to get some work done. So I finished up the first paragraph of my essay. I didn't say that before, but I almost finished the first paragraph before going over to my friend's house. And just now when I got back, I finished up that paragraph. And then I also wanted to start the second paragraph so that tomorrow I could get like right back into it. This is what she's looking like so far that's intro paragraph one and half of paragraph two and these are all my notes so i'm going to save that turn my computer off for the night see you tomorrow
Just got back from breakfast with Maggie. It's 11.45 now. And honestly, I'm just gonna hop back into working on my essay. That's really my goal for today is to finish that essay. Day. I got my second paragraph done after going out for breakfast and then I took about an hour nap and when I woke up I procrastinated for like another two and a half hours then I wrote my third paragraph and then I procrastinated some more and then I wrote the conclusion and then I made myself dinner which was really good and now it's 10 o'clock and I'm about to submit my essay because I read it over corrected it grammarly it and it is good to go So yeah, I'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night and then tomorrow I will spend all day on my little social media report infographic. See you tomorrow. Happy weekend. I went out this morning and got myself a smoothie. Oh, it's good. It's good. I am going to start my little social media report infographic now because that's all I have to do today. Cheers! Quick little update. I have two out of three brochure flaps done, but I'm gonna take a break now to eat lunch and then I'm gonna come back and do the third one. This is what it's looking like so far. I decided to do like introduction on this side and then here is like data and analysis and then here's gonna be recommendations for how to improve their social media. Yay! <laughs> Look who I'm with! Hi! Oh, Cooper came at like 5 this afternoon. After having lunch, I finished up my brochure and I read it over and it's done. This is what it ended up looking like. So like one, two, three folds of the brochure. And submit. Look at this week, we managed to get everything done. Everything is checked off. I'm literally so excited right now. I cannot wait for Christmas break. I do still have one assignment due on Friday, so like in a week. It's a paper in my 90s class, it's 10 to 12 pages, but since it's the literal only thing that I have due next week, I'm not gonna be vlogging it. I'm not gonna like turn this finals week into a finals two weeks. Thank you guys for coming along with me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have one semester left of college vlogs So I'll be sure to do a bunch of them if you still have finals going on I'm literally sending you all of my luck. Good luck finishing this semester. You are amazing I'm so proud of you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye